Hello everyone, welcome back to the Stratagosnik Nick channel. I am Stratagosnik, Nick, and today we are going to continue the Hearts of Iron 3 Germany Let's Play. Um, in the last episode we conquered the Soviet Union, which was glorious and amazing and really easy. <laughs> no offense to anyone out there that hasn't done it, it's just not that difficult sometimes. So. It takes practice, honestly. The, when I started playing, I could not even take out France. It was really bad. Um, so yeah. In this part, we're hopefully going to invade the United Kingdom. And uh, yeah. I also should let you know that uh, the number of videos for the summer is going to be infrequent for at least the next maybe uh, week. Because I'm going to be going on a vacation to Greece. I know. It's, it's awesome. Uh, yeah, um, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing in Greece, but it should be fun, and uh, yeah, I'll have a great time. So, uh, first of all, we're going to take all of these units, and we're going to put them in France. But we're going to send out a small division to take out Sinkiang, which is the only surviving mem member of the common turn. Awesome. So let's see, who should we take? We should take this guy. I know he wants to go to Sinkiang. Just gonna strategically redeploy him here. Anything, and just resettle these to see how much I see we have to send on production. Well, there's not really much we need to do. Do we have mechanized? Yes we do. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna cancel the building of these two motorized divisions and we're gonna start building uh, a couple mechanized divisions. We're going to build the two that were needed and plus another five, so that's seven. And we still have some IC left over to spend. So, uh, yeah, let's build five more. Why not? Actually, you know what? Instead of the five more, we're going to build some landing craft. Because that's going to be essential. Um, also, what we're going to do is OB West should not have Finland. I don't know why they're up there. We're going to give them these ports down here just in case of the possibility of an uh, invasion down here. Also, we're going to see if there are any war goals we can add to France. No. UK? No. Okay. Anything else I can do, really? Not really. So, let's get the show on the road. Ah. So, funny story, I, uh, <laughs> I had to completely uninstall, uh, the, uh, whatever it's called. Ooh, this needs to be the one that is the defensive stance. I, I had to completely, uh, reinstall Hearts of Iron because, um... Um, because I installed a mod, and apparently that, mall, that mod uh, yeah, screwed up your game. Yeah, the actual files, it didn't just go. It's not just something you put in the mod folder or anything. It's like, oh, yeah, I completely screwed up my game. So I had to reinstall it, uh, and uh, basically all of the um, changes I had put in to turn the revolt risk down to zero. In uh, core province or non-core provinces that are uh, that are uh, controlled by us, had been reset. Uh, so I had to change this back to zero. Yeah, um, I already believe I explained to you why I did this in the first episode because I just find uh, whatever it is uh, those stupid revolts completely useless and garbage, and they don't even accomplish anything. So the point is why bother having him in the game. Uh, a, a better solution would to be have, um, if you see supply map mode, uh, actually no, that wouldn't work. Uh, that's only for occupied provinces. For, for, for provinces that are controlled by you, but are not owned by you, see, uh, so this will give you a supply and manpower, uh, debuff. Basically what it would do is, um, 
just make it so that it's harder to supply your troops in those areas they give you attrition stuff like that because you know there would be like when you think about a partisan fighting forces but when the country is completely taken out I, I there, there would be no governments able to back rebels in that area if you if you understand that logic okay um Got some more of these SS divisions. Fall of Stalingrad. That's lovely. That happened a, quite a while ago, bro. Did we lose the province of Sinkiang, did it say? Yes, we did. Right here. That real. That sucks. I don't care. Did we add a... Yes, we did. I, I believe we already added the war goal to them. And we have mechanized defensive done. Let's just build some more landing craft while we're at it. Fall of Moscow. Yes, that was the... <laughs> that was past the end for Russia. We already just obliterated Russia. No, oh, we can't add another war goal. Damn it. Oh. More I see. <laughs> Let's build more landing craft. You can never have enough landing craft. You can never have enough. Oh, I did not mean to build ten of those. And let's put it at the top. Okay, spotting naval doctrine. Ooh, carrier task force. Absolutely yes. Who doesn't want a carrier task force? Anyway, now that we're done spying on the Soviet Union, we can start spying on the UK. Let's get some more spies. good. Fighters. That's done. We have two million manpower. Okay, Fall of Sydney. That's, that's great. Really couldn't be going better. Oh, what's this? Uprising in Poland. Massive uprising in Poland. Uh, let's see if our SS for uh, division can can't handle that. It honestly shouldn't be able to do much. Bombers. Okay, that's good. Honestly, you know what I hope they do is that if they do liberate, uh, which they can do if they own Warsaw, if they do liberate it, that gives us a chance to completely uh, re-annex them. Because um, I believe we already have the war goal. Yeah, they acquire territory, Western Poland, from them. And that's all the land they have left. And so once we do that, they will be completely annexed by us. Okay. Are they liberated or no? No, they're, they're still government in exile. I don't believe they'll be uh, liberated until like they actually have some units in there foreign units. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to encircle Moscow, or Warsaw I should say, because that's their base of supply. No? Okay, I thought we had a uh, whatever, captured or uh, done something, I don't know. Or researched attack. That was it. There we go, basing advance. The naval doctrine, that's important for when we invade the UK. I don't care about that. No, you're gonna stay out of Warsaw. Damn it, we're gonna need more troops. Uh, okay, so we got... Where are they? Oh, they're all over here, okay. Um, did these units arrive in Sinkang yet? Nope, not yet. Uh, we're gonna ask for a core. Just to go and wipe this out. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna use this to encircle and destroy some divisions. And it's garrison, so we'll totally arrive there faster than they will. Radar station. Yes! Gonna put it in Cherbourg? Cherbourg? I don't know. I don't speak French. Took French for six years, don't speak a word of it, but... That's not the point. You take French to impress colleges. That's what you take French for, even though, you know, not even going for anything that requires French. Nope, not at all. Completely stupid waste of time. And we can build another tactical bomber, which is lovely. I'm sorry if you hear the dog. The dog is a bit annoying at times, but he's my dog, so what are you gonna do about it? Okay, you there, we're gonna automate you just because I don't feel like dealing with this crap. Just capture everything. Do it. This game at times is just rather annoying, I must say. Just just by virtue of the fact that it's just so much crap. Micromanaging. I hope they fix that in the new Heart Divine game. I'm really excited for that. I will definitely be playing it once I actually learn how to play it. It's probably going to be radically different than what I'm used to. Okay, what, what can I build? There's nothing really to build. I could build some air paratroopers, that's always nice. Let's build 15 of those. Paratroopen. No, I don't need that. They're just gonna clean up those northern provinces. Wow, this uprising is just a bitch to put down. Uh, so one of you uh, commented on my video saying I should do a uh, UK Let's Play uh, of, on Victoria 2, and uh, thanks for the suggestion, I will totally do that. Um, I was kind of running out of things to do on Victoria, I, like, uh, I played Victor I played the crap out of Victoria, to be honest with you, and uh, I actually, UK is one of the only countries that I haven't played yet, like, it's surprising, UK is the most powerful country in the game, why wouldn't you play as them? I mean, I played as Persia, but I haven't played as the UK. Well, the reason for that is that the UK is just like I don't know. I, I feel it's like I feel like there's kind of an excitement to uh, building a country from the ground up, and uh, when you're not doing that, it's just like eh, I, I just don't know what the purpose is in that. You know what I mean? It's like it's like Prussia, you turn into Germany. Uh, uh, Ottoman Empire, you save from, from the brink brink of extinction. But uh, you know, UK is there to stay, pretty much. It's like in they didn't really lose power during the Victorian period at all. There was this like I don't know. It's rather hard to describe. Just like huh. Also, I've noticed that like Prussia is definitely the most played faction on Victoria 2. At least, that's what I've noticed on YouTube. Okay, go back there. And everyone that's not an SS division, or everyone that is an SS division, I mean, you're just gonna go back to German territory. Uh, once we, the, those transports, uh, get fitted, we're, uh, we're gonna launch the invasion. Actually, no, I think we need some, uh... Transports. About ten. Did they arrive in Sinkang yet? I believe they did, yes. Okay, go there. And destroy them. Uh, 
Uh, I think after this we're going to build up some of the infrastructure in the east just because I'm a guy that likes good infrastructure, you know what I mean? It's like some people like, I don't know, some people like big armies, some people like big navies. I like good infrastructure, honestly. To be completely 100% honest, it's just infrastructure is flipping awesome. Freaking awesome, yes. D-Day hasn't happened yet. I'm I'm gonna assume D-Day will never happen. Uh, just because why would? Yeah, let's improve some of this infrastructure down here in what used to be Yugoslavia. I go Slavia, you go Slavia, we all go Slavia. <laughs> it's a bad joke. And we can build another fighter, or interceptor, really. Just to keep those practicals moving. How, how good are the practicals? These, these are some pretty good practicals, if you ask me. Look at that. Look at that. It's brilliant. Yeah. Once the war with the Allies is over, we're really going to have some fun then. Small arms advance? Oh, awesome. It's like the most used tech in the game. One of the most important techs in the entire game. Not, I, I kid you not. British Pacific bases. Can we add a war goal to France? Uh, Algeria. Can we do anything for the, U the USA? Yes, let's conquer them. We enforce conquer on Iraq. Even though I can still see their name. Why can I still see their name? I don't want to see their name. I want them to be wiped out the face of the planet. I honestly have no idea how historically accurate this is. I don't, I don't know if Hitler actually could have defeated the Soviet Union in, you know, however X many days. I, I just don't... I don't think it's conceivable. And we've puppeted Nepal? Are they a puppet of Japan? Puppet of Germany. I'll call them to arms. I'd prefer them to be my uh, whatever. But, yeah. Sink Yang. Jeez, the infra, infra is terrible there, I'm, I'm assuming. No, it's whatever. It's a it's an Asia, and, the, and all the infra in Asia in this game is just complete crap. What are you, what are you gonna do about it? You, know, you can you can build it up, but it's gonna take frickin' ever. It's not like you ever go there anyway. It's just so big, really. Like, ugh, I know fighting in Asia is just a mess. I remember, I, you know, I think our next Let's Play of Hearts of Iron 3 is going to be national, uh, Nationalist China, because you can really turn them around and just make them kick Japan's butt if you try hard enough. Even in, even in Black Ice, you can do that. And Black Ice is a really kind of hard mod to play, but you can totally just kick Japan's butt. Because, you know what, the attackers always, always, always have such a difficult time, you know, winning. They take super huge casualties. So it's like, if I'm if I'm playing as Finland against the Soviet Union in Black Ice, they will bleed units and I will barely lose a man in the battle. It's like, one loss for a thousand men. It's completely ridiculous. But, uh, hey, that's kind of what happened. I, I, I think it was something like 5,000 ski troops, Finnish ski troops, destroyed 10,000 mechanized Russian forces. Completely insane. They completely destroyed them. Ski troops destroyed mechanized forces. That just shows you how uh, adaptable the Finnish were to their land. And uh, kind of the uh, the best of guerrilla warfare. Right there. Plus the Viet Cong and stuff like that. But it just shows you that asymmetric, war uh, asymmetric warfare is really useful. And I wish it had, it had been implemented in the Hearts of Iron 3 a little bit better than what it is now. Because like, the only thing for guerrilla warfare here is, let's see, it's under guerrilla warfare and that just gives you ambush 
as a military tactic you can use, and like that's that's okay, but um, I don't know, I think it should just be a little bit more interesting. <laughs> oh yes, we're moving into their capital now. Any second now. But we're gonna get ready for the invasion. Hold on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen. If there are any ladies watching this, I have no idea. Probably not. I mean, I don't know any girls that like video, uh, heart, uh, World War II simulations, grand strategy games. If you, I, I'm just saying I don't know any of you. There, there could be girls that like it. I don't know. Ooh, civil nuclear research. Yes, absolutely. Uh, infantry warfare, lovely. Ugh, so much stuff. Uh, armor. Escorts. Anything else? Oh yeah, this. Forgot that. Can't see. Let's just wait till all this finishes up. <sighs> hmm. Medium tank reliability. Uber reliable now. So how many units can we find on this? Well, first of all, let's just get rid of some... <sighs> let's get rid of, uh... All the HQs. Well, not all of them, but... Oh, crap. Actually, screw the HQs. We're gonna get rid of a couple of armored as well. And maybe. Still not enough. Uh, okay. 3,300. Okay, well, let's take off a couple more Panzers. Um, yeah, let's take off one more Panzer Corps. Now let's start taking off some infantry corps. Okay. 65 units. That should be enough. For now. Um, we're gonna move. Mm, we're gonna move here. Mm, defensive. Yeah, we're gonna go defensive. Okay. We're not gonna attack, we're only gonna defend if necessary. Don't wanna do anything. Don't want to piss off the enemy. Shoot. Win this, please. Thank God. Okay. Um, okay. Let's get this started, shall we? Actually, you know what? First, let's give it just a bit of a save. Because you never know uh, what's going to happen. Oh, hold on a second. Some of the door. I'll be right back. Okay. We are back. Perfect timing. I tell ya, some people. Don't understand when you're trying to defeat the UK. Wrong place, wrong time, Bubba. Bozo. Buddy. I don't know. Um, 
UK, when will you learn your lesson? Ah, uh, yeah, they're fit enough to proceed. Uh, we're gonna give you a passive stance. Okay. That's a nice name, Hell. Mm -hmm. Give him Hell, Hell. Portsmouth. Exeter. Portsmouth. And here. Let's see what happens. Portsmouth, there's nothing there, so uh, that's going to be a win for us, of course. This is a garrison there, and then we're going to move them there. And then we're going to rebase the entire fleet back to Kiel so they can refit and rearm. There we go. Let the invasion begin. Lemosos region, and then we're done with the UK. We'll completely annex them, I believe. Uh, let's get Morocco. Morocco. I like that name. You know what, you're not going to attack there, you're going to go that way. Garrison units? Are you kidding me, Britain? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Operation Sea Lion is, in my opinion, a great success so far. Look at that. Haven't even captured a victory point yet. Well, we haven't. Japan's captured all of India pretty much. Okay. Anything going on? No, no, don't go to Exeter. You're gonna lose. Everyone knows that. Highland Mountain Division. <laughs> you can tell I'm satisfied with this, you, you know. I just really am so very satisfied. Did glorious just have to wait till the end of the day, and Sinkang will be annexed by Germany, the Third Reich. Annexed, delicious. Cardiff just had a Cardiff. Let's have a look here. Uh, what is this? That's uh, Sink Yang. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. I wish really I could have just I could just be like, hey Japan, how's it going? Then just attack them. Uh, I wish you could do that. Just turn on your allies or something like that. I do that all the time in Total War. I don't know why I can't do that here. Makes no sense. Oh, we're gonna take Gloucester. Lovely. Richard the Third or something like that. Duke of Gloucester. Yes, I'm a Shakespeare fan. Sue me. Don't sue me. Please, don't sue me. Piercing attack armor 8. Well then, who has the uh, armor advantage? Oh, well, they do, but... Yeah, uh. Tactical Air Command. Right here. Uh, maybe we should send over... now. Nah, we, nah, we don't have to. Now we're gonna get rid of their radar in Dover. 
head here, head here, and just head this way. Actually, no, head over here. We're a little uh, lacking on the right-hand side, on the right flank. But Operation Sea Line is proceeding as planned. And soon we, we shall have the modifier, uh, uh, the English Channel, which should give us a significant leadership boost. And leadership boosts are always beautiful. I think we have it now, actually. Do we have it? We have it. I, yeah, we have it. We have to wait till the day is out. And there we go. Daily descent change, minus 10%, and more leadership. So you can never have enough leadership, can you? That's right, you can't. I had to send the HQs to take out some of these less important provinces. What's this? Capital ships. Aircraft carrier. Yeah, we don't need any of those battleship techs. They're useless in my opinion. Completely useless. Now that we got that armor division out of the way, everything should go a lot smoother. I see production advance. Is done. Roughly evil, uh, even in uh, losses there. 77% after a loss of 30 points. Uh, 35, I guess you could say. Liverpool is the next target for us. Flying bomb is done. Let's go to our secret tab and get strategic rocket. And now we're going. The encirclement shall begin of this one motorized division. Doesn't really matter, but hey, it's just this is what I like to do. And Liverpool's done. I will this mark the end of England or the UK or whatever. Yeah, it's the UK. I know if you ask CPG or CGP Gray or. I can't remember what it is. I know if you ask him, he'll be like, England is this, and UK is this, and... The common man does not know the distinction between this stuff, nor does he need to, but it's always nice to know. Because I am a history geek. No, it's not the end of England. Um, let's see, we still have a couple more VPs to capture. We have Glasgow, Newcastle, Edinburgh, and Belfast. Belfast. I don't know, shouldn't someone be like, hey, they captured London, it's pretty much over now. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. It's really hopeless. There's no hope for any of you. Might as well just give up. I mean, you 
say Germany's evil. Well, <laughs> evil's so subjective. I mean, really, it's evil. Eh. I think we should march right up on ahead to Newcastle. I'll take note of that, of course. Now you go this way, actually. No, you go this way, but I want you guys to go here. Okay, that's taken care of. And that's more aircraft carrier done. Yeah, that battle is going to be won in a couple of uh, days, or uh, hours, or it's, it's over now, but whatever. Manchester. Ah, uh, Manchester United, how are you going to exist now? You're not. I'm offending a lot of people. I mean, I usually offend a lot of people normally, but I'm offending way more than I usually do on a daily basis. Some days I only def offend one or two, and today I'm just going all out. English, the Russians, the Chinese, even the Americans a bit. I don't know about the Americans, I don't think I badmouth them. American infrastructure sucks. America sucks. It's a democracy, it sucks. There. Have I offended you Americans now? Good. I think I should say that I'm American. <laughs> just, just to preface that statement. Uh, let's get the strategic West Coast cities. Because you know Japan has a war goal that they like to add too. And they get to take a bunch of crap from you. Even though you do the all... Uh, you, you do all the hard work with actually dro building the nukes and dropping the nukes, and then Japan's like, oh yeah, uh, by the way, we're going to be taking all of the land you captured. I'm like, screw you, Japan. Because if you don't add a war goal on it, then no one cares. Masterful Blitz can't be countered by anything. Not even an elastic defense. Ooh, yeah, we counter them. Mm. I love countering their attacks. First aid. That's great. No, you're not getting reinforcements from right there. If you do, I will blow you up. In fact, I should probably send some bombers over there, but you know, I'm too lazy to. By the way, we can send you guys back. I don't know why that thing's stuck over there. It probably sucks there. You don't speak the language, it's probably hot. I hate the heat. There, now have we annexed England? Or, yeah, mm, no we haven't. Why in God's name haven't we? Do we have to capture all of their victory points? I really don't feel like it, guys. Come on. What is this? Are you gonna make me work? Seriously, if you make me work, I'll be so mad. You're gonna make me work on you, bastards. Okay. Okay. I see how it is, UK. You're just gonna make me do stuff. Great. Great. Screw you, UK. Screw you. I hate you so much.
And what was the, uh, what were the Germans doing now in this time in 1942? Oh yeah, they were like, stalled. In, in the Soviet Union. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. By the time the, uh, the uh, Germans surrendered, I will have taken out the UK, uh, the US. Okay, maybe not that early, but um, I still need to get nukes first. Because nukes are almost essential to uh, capping the United States. Almost, I say almost essential because it is possible. It's just so terrible and time-consuming and micromanaging. It's like... <sighs> don't even get me started on it. Now have we taken them out? God dang it, you stupid burr! <sighs> I hate you, you can. I hate you so much. I hate you so much. Just, 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 just. Uh. I need something to drink. I'm th I'm thirsty. I am so thirsty. Paratroop paratroopers. Ha! They don't even have any piercing. Well, they do have a bit of piercing, but it's not going to do anything against our armor divisions. Ha, are they encircled? Did they die? They Why aren't you dead? Why aren't they dead? Hmm? Why didn't they get wiped off the map? Can anyone tell me why they didn't get wiped off the flippin' map? I can't. Can't. Okay, now they got wiped off the map. That's acceptable. No, you're attacking there. I'm sorry, what are you doing there? Broad. Broad? That's an interesting name. Oh, please let this be the last one. Please. I'm not gonna ask you again. If I have to capture Belfast... Not actually as a precaution. Screw it. Dennett's, you're going to Belfast and just naval invading it. I don't give a crap. Oh, what do you know? You have to capture Belfast. Great, great, great. Uh, ooh, the the false stream Jaeger, the false false stream hunter, I believe. I don't know what false stream means, but I'm assuming it's important. Belfast, you better be the last one. You better be the last one. I swear to God, if you're not the last one, something terrible will happen to you. I don't know. Maybe maybe you'll wake up with the horse's head in your bed. I don't know. It'd be terrible if something happened to you. It will be terrible. Oh, I don't want that to go there. I want that to go there. You know what? Let's build some more false stream Jaegers. Why not? Let's build 10 more just to get a nice even 25. We don't need them. God knows I want them. You are going there. And you're going to take that province no matter what, or else I will come down there myself and strike you down. And strike you flipping down. Are you done now? Thank... someone. Thank the god, thank anything, I don't know. Thank Archimedes. <sighs> okay. I don't have to deal with the UK any more. All this is mine. I'm so happy. Oh, look at this. It's so great. Pissed off I didn't capture India, but it's great nonetheless. Oh, we didn't add, add all these war goals. Bhutan, Poland, already got them. Canada, no one cares about Canada. Belgium, yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. <clears throat> so the UK is out of the game. What now? What now, you're thinking? Well, actually, Operation Sea Lion didn't happen. 
yeah, you're right, Operation Sea Lion is not over, because Operation Sea Lion involves the capturing of Dublin and Cork from the uh, Irish. So we're going to declare a limited war to conquer Ireland, and uh, we're going to begin with the naval invasions of Dublin and Cork. and win that, I don't care anymore. We're gonna land one division there, one division here, and one division right here. One right, there are a lot of... Is that Irish or is that Scottish? I don't know. I'm, I'm not either. Am I Irish? I have no idea. Does it even matter if I'm Irish? I don't think it does. Attack in Dublin. Okay, well, we're gonna just pull back and invade Cork in the meanwhile. Because while they're busy trying to defend their capital, we are busy de taking out Cork, which is their other victory point. I might add they only have two victory points. But it's not gonna be like Britain, freaking spread out and Stuff. <laughs> Jerks. Let's just speed this up to speed 5, because honestly, I am so flippin' tired of having to deal with things right now. I'm sunburnt and grouchy. I really just don't feel like it. That's what happens when you're white as a sheet. Stupid genetics, you know? Why am I ranting about this on a Hearts of Iron 3 video? I really just shouldn't be. I should be sticking to gameplay, but you know what? No. Screw gameplay or quality or instructions or learning or anything like that. I want to play the game and win. Awesome. We're going to continue because, of course, we're going to continue. Uh, so Operation Sea Line has been completed. Most of our victory conditions are completed. Uh, we just have a couple that are unfulfilled. Let's let Japan take these. And Port Moresby needs to be captured, bro, chachos. Don't know what you're doing. Uh, so yeah. Then we'll have all 15 victory conditions completed, and that's, that's, that's awesome. But uh, right now we're uh, we're done with Europe, pretty much. We're we're done. It's uh, pretty much over for Europe. Uh, there are a couple of strategic effects I could get. I could get Gibraltar, and that would me require me invading Spain. We could get the ore soon, but that would involve me invading Swiss, uh, Sweden. And uh, naval supremacy in the West would require me invading Canada and a bunch of. Uh, West Coast cities, Mexico, uh, America, and honestly, that's gonna, gonna have to wait a few episodes just because the invasion of America takes a long ass time to set up and deal with, and I don't have the energy right now to deal, do it because, you know, zero hours of sleep last night or something like that. I have no idea how I managed to defeat the UK. Um, but right now, I think we're just gonna be focusing mainly on a some cleanup, taking out Greenland, taking out Iceland, taking out uh, the, Fer the Faroe Islands, um, and uh, mainly focusing on some of the Middle Eastern provinces here. Uh, that, that'll be next time. Japan can continue doing pointless things in India, I really don't care. It's not like it's gonna matter in the long run. It just has manpower, and God knows the Japanese need manpower because them on this little island, they don't have much to begin with. So, yeah. Uh, but that pretty much wraps it up for Europe. And um, I, I could theoretically call the let's play here, but I don't feel like it. So, uh, yeah. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. And if you didn't enjoy it, leave a dislike. I don't care. Um, uh, please comment if you want to comment, and if you enjoy these videos and want to see more awesome Hearts of Iron 3, Victoria 2, Total War, whatever it is, Let's Play, then hit that subscribe button, shows your support, and I know, so I know to keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, and actually, if you do none of that, I will still keep doing what I'm doing, just because I find it enjoyable. 
Uh, so yeah. Uh, see you next time. Bye.